traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart here of the gold market, folks. That's one that we do really well in. Today was especially good. We knew the market was coming down. Well, we had a strong inclination because of the patterns that we were looking for that would come in around 1955 to 1958 or 57, 58. So we were buying at 1958. And we had a stop at 1951, folks. Uh, all I saw was when the report came out for the jobs report was I heard my beeper go off once. And the first trade hit at 1954. And by the time I saw that the trade was filled and the beeper was going off, it was trading $14 higher. It since went $23 higher. So we booked a nice $2,000 profit on that today and said thank you very much. And now we're waiting for an ABCD pattern on the smaller time frame to come in and go back in again. Those are one where the pattern completed. It might have kept going straight up, and maybe it did. But when you're only risking $6 and it pays you uh, three times that, that's, that's what you have to do because the ABCD pattern is based on probability completion about 62% of the time. And if you hold on one second here, I'm having a, uh, oh boy, this is really a good day today. Hold on, folks. I'm, I'm uh, in a couple of other things that are working pretty good here. And I have to do this because uh, this is my business and I need to get ready here. I got to be covering this little puppy here in just a tad. Okay, let's move on here and uh, talk to you about a couple other things besides the gold market. You, several people asked yesterday, uh, they dropped me an email, why was I so bullish on the euro? Folks, it was because of the dollar index. The dollar index was just absolutely screaming, please sell me. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it here. I mean, it was just, it was so, it was so beautiful that uh, I brought it to your attention here uh, yesterday, and we also did it on the live show uh, on uh, on Wednesday. But look at this. There's a beautiful one three five pattern. You're sitting right at the 61% retracement of the high from the number three spot. You're at three eight two from the one spot. You're at the seven eight six of the three spot. I mean, you got so much there, and you got an A B C D in between. And that's why you had it. I didn't know what the report was going to be. And you know, folks, I swear to God, I, they can give me all the numbers that they want, and they don't mean anything to me. Because I've been in this business long enough to know that these guys played with those numbers more than you might even imagine. I've seen it many times. And so I, I look at the charts, and I keep it as simple as possible. And that, that's really all I do. I don't do anything more than that. It, it's not that. It's not that hard for me to see if that is, in fact, going to be the case to do it. So that's all I can tell you. Sometimes they work better than others. That's true. But when they do work, they work very well. And that's what we're trying to do here is to give you some good ideas of when patterns complete and when they fail. Now, let's take a quick look here. The stock that has been in the news today has been Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. So bear with me here. I just want to walk through this because uh, – you remember the gentleman said uh, that uh, Warren Buffett said that uh, if a person was offered $10,000, uh, the only thing is that they couldn't buy an Apple product. He said most people would not take the 10000 I disagree with that. Now, you can see that it broke the downtrend channel uh, on this news thing. But what's interesting about the news, and I wanted to, to show you today because it was quite interesting, because what I do is I try to uh, validate why these things occur so that, you know, you can say, yeah, well, it worked this time. Maybe, it, you know, if you practice it enough, you'll see that you'll be able to get it. So what I did is I brought up an hourly chart here. This this includes the time of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the earnings came out, and the earnings were good. Everything was fine. They still got uh, $175 trillion or whatever it is in the bank, 
probably a billion, not a trillion. But look at this. There was the there was the pro, uh, last night, okay, and then in the middle of the night, you see it went right up to a three eight two retracement, exactly, and then it dropped five dollars. I mean that's a lot when you're looking at one hundred ninety five dollars stock intraday. So those are just a couple. You should see some of the others that were moving today. Those were the ones that were very, very interesting to look at because they, they really had some spectacular moves in them. And let's get back to the bond market for just a second here because uh, it's very interesting now because we did see a night, 119 handle in the bonds today when the report came out, 119.95. I can't find it on any of my programs, but that's what it shows as the bottom. So let me get this up here. And I want to show you what happened since that time. You'll get up and take a quick look at it here. There's what it's been doing. We went below the number we thought it was going to do. It went 19.5. And what we did today already, folks, is rallied two and a half points. And we made a 382 retracement of that high we made just, just a few days ago. I mean, that's just... Uh, it's really, truly amazing that uh, this thing works, and it doesn't work all the time. I'm showing you the ones that work. If I showed you the ones that didn't work, we'd probably be on here for three or four days. Who knows? But anyway, that's the thing. We're having great volatility. That's the good news. The volatility that we're seeing is just absolutely awesome, and that's what you want to you know, focus on of uh, why we're doing some of these things here. So let's uh, keep our uh, powder dry here. And I am going to do something here one second. It'll take me just one second to do it. And then we will be done for the day. Well, not done for the day, but hold on just a second. Let me just hit this click. Oh, I hit the wrong button and I got big trouble. Okay, that's good here. Okay, oh, wow. Forgot to cancel that. Time out, folks. What's going on here? Uh, cancel. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay, sorry, folks. I had to. I'm. I'm actually actually trading a little bit today. So uh, anyway, um, that's what we're paying attention to so far uh, today. Okay, let's move on here and take a look at the. Uh, one second. I've got some charts here for us. And if you have any questions today, folks, it'd be really great if you uh, help me out here because uh, I've had a really. Uh, I have a lot, of, a lot going on here with that Wednesday show and all the emotionalism that went on with it. Uh, it's hard to do five hours like that. But I do have something that I, I did want to show you, and I, I just want to get this up here so that we can see it. And this has been uh, valid all day. Oh, dear, just one second here. I can't get the right chart up. Give me one second, and I'll, well, they better give me more than two seconds. First of all, I've got to show a chart. Rich Anderson said we really need to see this, and he, he follows this type of investor sentiment, and Rich is a pretty smart guy, so if he follows stuff like this, it's good enough for us to take a look at it. We'll bring this up here, and you'll be able to see it here. There is the investor sentiment. You see we're in the high end of this over the past years. But we've seen this, folks. That's why the market is where it is, for heaven's sakes. You know, that's really what you're looking at is when you're seeing something like that, okay? So keep that, keep that in mind as you're looking at this stuff. Wow, first break already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back with Billy Ray Valentine, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the crude oil here, and as you can see, as you're looking at this chart, you, you can see on the far right there, we had that little pullback here just two days ago. That was an exact, uh, don't tell me you don't have it. Uh, probably not. Hold on just a second here, and I guess uh, I guess we've got it. Okay. All right, so that, that part's good. Anyway, that 382 retracement, now you can see the ABCD, which I sort of like that pattern, uh, measures up to 74 and change. But you see the red line right above it, boys and girls? That means that you're going to be breaking out of a long-term uh, support point. I will bet a nickel to a donut, and I'll do the work over the weekend. That's going to be a big, big number up there. Maybe a uh, – see, we had a high of 120. We had a low of roughly 160, so that's 60 points. 30 back would take you up to just about there. It's probably going to be about a 3A2 on the whole move, but we'll have to do that on the weekly basis, and I'll do that, of course, uh, uh, over the weekend. Uh, I've been asked by Tom Hugard. Uh, we're doing a special uh, documentary and uh, a thing for services for David Paul, and I've been asked to do a one-minute uh, video of my relationship with him and how it started 20 years ago, mainly because of uh, Mark was living here, Mark Douglas, and David was a huge fan of Mark, and uh, they ended up being friends. And, of course, David was very, very instrumental in working with <laughs> – this is the understatement of the year, of uh, working with uh, the best loser I know, who is Tom Hugard. And anyway, uh, it's going to be fun to talk about it. What I will do is I'll repeat it for you folks uh, uh, before I send it to Tom and see how it goes. But uh, he was a, just a great guy. He was he was only about 5'8", and he was he looked rather frail, but he was solid muscle. He had been a uh, one of these Marine reconnaissance guys, like almost like an Army Ranger. And uh, that's what he was good. He could still do. This was he was 68. I'm the first time we did a seminar five in 19, 2019. No, that was the first one in London. He he was still doing one hand push ups. You know, I can't even push my hand my my desk away with my hand with one hand. So he was in great health. And what happened to him was uh, you know, on June the first he went to the doctor because he had some stomach cramps. And the doctor said, get your house in order. You're probably not going to make it till Thanksgiving. And he died six weeks later. Uh, I mean, that's uh, 
terrible thought, and I saw him, uh, you know, the way he was going at the very end, and unfortunately, I've seen that prostate cancer thing with other people, and it's not a good way to go, but he was on morphine, so he was okay. Let's get back to something happy, Larry, okay? No, people don't want to hear this stuff. Okay, let's move on here. I want to uh, show, uh, I've already talked about the apple. I showed you what was happening there. Folks, I'm not bearish on apple. I'm just looking at a pattern. That's all I'm doing. I don't, I don't do anything more than that. I'm not trying to predict where the market's going to go at any particular time. I really don't. I do look at patterns and how they, how they unfold. So let's take a look at one that's coming here to your uh, what is it, home and office uh, this next few weeks, uh, probably or early in the week. I don't think it'll be today, but you never know. This is a price of your December wheat going over the last uh, – Oh, three last last couple months as you ah oh, shut the front, Jacob. I have to call you about how to get this thing to access these charts because when I click them on and put them into Discord, it causes me Discord because I can't do it. You can see here the similarities in both of these moves right here. Now, if I, if you count the number of days down in this move and the number of days down in this move right here. That means around Wednesday of next week, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, hopefully we'll be sitting right at that 78% level. You don't want it to be below that because if you if it's below that, it's broke the cadence or the symmetry that's there because right now it's just absolute perfect symmetry. And so we're waiting for that to happen. And then when we do, and when we do, then we're going to be able to take a very, very low risk position, much like we did when it was $6.00. If you remember, we had all those ABCD patterns at $6 a bushel about uh, seven or eight weeks ago, eh, six weeks ago, and that led to a buck and a half rally uh, in the wheat. So these markets are not done yet. Uh, this is in the middle. Uh, we're starting the August season now. So soybeans, next few weeks are really important for soybeans to get a lot of moisture. Hot weather they can handle if they get the moisture. Hot weather without the moisture, not good. That's when you run into big problems over there. So... Uh, we did a few uh, few things this week. Uh, we tried to pick the bottom in corn a couple times, and I missed it by hair too. It was not a big deal. Had rallied a little bit today, then gave it all back again. So we know that it's not it's not ready to you know to go anywhere uh, as of yet. Now this is the one I I really got an enjoyment out of today because when the report came out, the problem with with this this chart that I have, folks, it doesn't show the exact low in the. Uh, Treasury bonds. Okay, this is a this is a 30 minute chart of U.S. 30 year bond. Okay, but the problem is the low was right here at 119.25, but the chart service that Ensign had didn't pick it up. I got it picked up on CQG, but it's not picked up here. So I was look. I I made the adjustment here so that you can see the 382 off of the low at 119. So that's what it's gone to so far, which was 10. Uh, 101.24 so far, but you know when it, when somebody's talking, and I have nothing against Bill Ackman. I've seen him at poker tournaments before. He's so far out of my league that uh, you know I, I'd park the car for him if I could learn how to understand how to drive one of those Italian jobs. But uh, you know I understand psychology of the market, and, and a real uh, a real guy that's that's a big player like that, unless unless he's doing it for an ego trip, why would he ever? Tell and wave the you know wave a wand right in front of the Federal Reserve and say you know I'm short in this puppy I don't care who you are hey maybe it's a I don't know I you know those guys are out of my league so you know what Larry why don't you just be quiet and talk about the one thing that you do know and that's A B equals C D that's the thing that you gotta really focus on when you're doing these charts nothing more nothing less that's where it really is you remember folks. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about that bottom that was coming in with both the S&P and in the uh, NASDAQ was coming in as of yesterday. And, of course, uh, it certainly did. And we're in the midst of this two-day rally right now. And we've gone up to the 382 retracement of some of these moves here. How, they're, how much they're going to hold up or not, I don't really know. But we're going to keep a close eye on these puppies because – as they unfold, and as they unfold, that's what we like to see of what's going on here, okay? All right, let's move on here. Uh, someone asked a question, uh, what are we doing with the gold? Uh, well, I, what personally I did when we had that first run, 
I, I raised my stop up really hard so that I would lock in at least $1,500 because I was risking six and I made three times that roughly. And so that's that's what I did. I, I, it hasn't gone straight up from here, so it's going to give me another chance to do it. I'm not going to do it today because i got other things going on. Those of you that have been following the newsletter and all the videos that we sent out, new, the ABCD that we're looking at in the S&P at uh, 49, uh, 49, <laughs> 40, 46, 45, 55 today. Uh, with a 10-point stop, we thought that would be something that would be interesting uh, for potential to the downside. So anyway, that's what we're looking here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, but don't leave and come back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to go down memory lane here. This is a painting that was done by Elsie Darneal. Uh, her husband happened to be one of my friends from Eli Lilly, and he's also one of my customers at Drexel Burnham. She was a very famous artist. She was uh, she painted stuff for the Reagans. That was Nancy and Ron. And um, 
the uh, she just did a great job. She basically did fruits and vegetables, uh, foods and that type of thing. But because Jack had made a couple of bucks with me as a Christmas gift in 1978, they gave me this beautiful painting. It's an oil painting with a beautiful frame around it, and it had the ten rules that I worked with with John Hill. That banner across the top says, "He who knows not ready, he who knows not what he risks." risk all the little parchments that you see around there's seven of them there those were the main patterns that i was looking at from the gartley book and also from the uh, the book from uh, john hill so th this was uh, uh I, I didn't put the gartley up there i didn't i didn't get the butterfly until 1988 with uh, bryce gilmore but uh i didn't really share the, the gartley pattern with very many people because uh not because i didn't want to it's just most people just didn't want to do the work you know, to learn the, all the ramifications of it. That was it. But the two, the two most important rules there, the number one rule is never add to a losing position. Folks, if you do that, I'm going to go through these one by one here because uh, it's, it's, it's important enough I have to turn around and get all of them because I didn't memorize them. <laughs> but the first one I memorized for sure, that is never add to a losing position. If you add to a losing position, you're doing two things wrong. One, you're increasing your risk exposure on something that's not working, and two, you're already wrong. So that's that's absolute insanity. That's how I lost my money in 1974. If I hadn't added the losing positions, I'd have been in great shape. But because I increased my leverage, I was in bad shape. The next one is never get do a trade without a reason, I believe. Oh, when, oh, when in doubt, get out. That was basically the one that was uh, very, very important. Uh, I'm going to turn around and read these because they're right behind me. Uh, and I'll be able to read them easily enough. It says, "Place your stops are for stops are place for protection. You have to use them. Stick to your trading plan. Take equity out for rainy day periods. Boy, I've done that my whole life, folks. Every chance I get. Never close a trade without a reason. Those were the top five. And uh, gee whiz, my eyes are really getting bad. I can't even see that thing from here. That's strange. I better do something to read it right off the list then. Uh, number, the stops are placed for protection. Use this number six. The only true facts in commodity trading are fear and greed. And never allow a substantial profit to become a loss. Distribute your risk your risk equally over several markets and never hedge a losing position. In other words, if you got a loss, just take it off because if you don't, now you have two decisions to make. You take off the long or you take off the short. And believe me, if you're gonna if you're in that kind of a mood where you hedge a losing position, you're gonna screw it up anyway. So just get out of it and move on to the next one. One of the best rules that's not up there that I found many years later is if you're not if you're not profitable in what we do with pattern recognition in two days, get out on the third day. Something's wrong. These things work either immediately or they're suspect. And that's the that's the key to what we're watching here. So I, I hope that helps you. Uh, part of this painting is missing because I just did it this morning. You can see the ruler, and then there was a proportional divider on my desk, but there were also a stack of cougarans because we started selling cougarans in uh, January of 77. And, gee, we had a huge business because, you know, everybody wanted to buy gold because it was going up. The banks had uh, – uh, Crocker Bank and Security Pacific Bank in California, there in Beverly Hills, they had windows where you could buy gold and you had windows where you could sell gold. <laughs> no one was ever in the sell window, not until later, of course. But uh, there would always be a line of people, four or five people in line to buy their coins. They were selling for anywhere from 190 bucks to about 250 that first year. Then, of course, they went up to 800 And from 800 they went all the way down to 250 and I will have to my hat. My hat is off today to my, our fearless leader, Tom Senior, because when gold hit 253, I remember this really vividly. It was in 2003, and he said, "Let's buy gold." And by golly, that's been a heck of a trade, and uh, it was a good trade today, anyway. But anyway, those were those were the things that were on there. We had all the cougar ranch would be sitting there. I never had a never lost a penny. Anybody trying to. You know, steal one of the cougar ants or anything like that. None of that ever happened, and it was a it was a fun time 
uh, working for Drexel. Fortunately, yesterday there was one of the customers from Drexel was one of our guests in the uh, room yesterday, and he sent me a nice email, and uh, it, it really, uh, really warmed my heart because I uh, had a lot of memories of that. That was the easiest time I've ever been in the business, folks. I mean, it literally was. The only reason I quit is because I knew I was going to be going to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange because I knew these computers were coming so that we could see the charts. We couldn't get charts back in those days. The charts didn't come available until 1983, thanks to the uh, work of uh, Walt Bressert uh, and also uh, uh, Jake Bernstein. And uh, Ray, oh dear, what's his name down in New Orleans? I'll think of it in just a minute. That CompuTrack. And those guys put these things together so that you could have a, uh, a computer with a, you know, have the graphics card. You could do none of the colors, but you could put moving averages and lines on it and stuff like that. All I wanted to see was the bar charts. I've always been that way. I, I've not used any oscillators or any of that stuff. I, I, just, I just never have. I'm just a strict... Uh, what do you call it? Dog and pony show, one trick pony, whatever you want to call it. But that's that's all I do is I, I do that one thing and I try to do it uh, relatively well. So that's what we're that's what we're trying to do here today. And what we did yesterday, we did the same thing, picked out a couple of nice trades and stuff like that. And uh, that's what we're doing today. The big one, of course, was the gold. We've been talking about this gold, folks, for well over a week. And, of course, been short most of that time. And, of course, with the market breaking down, if you didn't have your order to cover the short, you probably would have had a loss because it hit 1954 uh, as a low. I never saw the print. All I saw was 1968. The first – after I got the fill, the first try I saw was 1968 because I bought it in 1958. And it went up to eight, uh, uh, 83. It rallied uh, – I mean, that's uh, 30, uh, 29 points, which is, uh, that's quite a bit. Uh, the harmonic number, of course, is 34. It might get there later today, but it should be a pretty significant bottom. But no matter what, you're going to lock in a $1,000 profit on that. There's no way you should be able to uh, lose on that trade. You should book at least $1,000. Preferably, if you did two units, you'd like to take off one of them, and then you're then you're going to be, you know, far better off than uh you know what you're what you're looking at some of these things here. So I, I hope that uh, gives you a pretty good idea of what we're watching here. Hold on, I've got a couple other things I've got to do. I've got to add some positions on here. Hold on a sec. One of these days I'm going to get this crude all right. It might not be in my lifetime, but it will be. <laughs> I'm going to wait till Monday. I don't need any hassle with that. Okay, I have a, what uh, what was the other one I had? One other one that was really super important. Oh shucks. Ah, these charts are driving me absolute wacko. Well, I'll tell you what. One th here's one I sent to Tom Hugard early this morning, and the market had a, a big break in the middle. Now, let's take a break. I'll share with this with you when we get back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to... Um take a second here and we're going to take a look at this uh, wheat chart together make you make a few people a believer uh, on some of these things give me a second to get it up here and then I just have to send it uh, to my laptop and let's hopefully the laptop will get it and I think that it will and then we can bring it up and see it and there it is right there and all I've got to do is to go clickety click and make a trick and see if it's going to do the trick I was a poet and don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. This is wheat. Remember, folks, when it was back here, we were saying it was going to be a buy down here at three dollar, <laughs> six dollars. Okay, and it did. We didn't make all of this, but we made a nice piece of change. Now we've backed off once, went up and made a double top. No A B C D or anything there. But look at the symmetry that's here, folks. Uh, this is important because when you see symmetry like that, the market is trying to tell you something. That's all it's doing. It's a sum total of all the buyers and sellers. You don't have to worry about the fundamentals, any of that stuff. The fundamentals that you read in the paper or hear, hear about, by the time they've happened, you know, that game is over. You know, don't have to worry about it at all. So here's what you're paying attention to. You're seeing this move right here coming down. And if you count the number of days down, you'll see that it's going to be 13 days down. And on Wednesday of next week, which will be 14th, 15th, the 16th, right? Yep. No, that'll be the ninth. Let's see. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves here, Larry. That will be the ninth, and that'll be one that is really, uh, really interesting to see if this is going to uh, to hold up or not. And I, this one thing we do know for sure, that it will be a very, very low risk trade. That that's one thing we do know because it either works exactly at this point, or you, you just get on another bus. That's basically what you got to do. You can't do anything more than that. It's nothing else. It's that, that flat out that simple. So let's do another one here just for fun, just for kicks and giggles, so you can see what we're paying, playing with here, uh, and you'll be able to see it here pretty because we got this one coming up pretty soon. Uh, you're going to be seeing it at, the, at a drive-in theater coming to you. It might even be there today. I haven't even checked it. Hold on one second here. This is the uh, chart for the uh, British pound. Okay, and uh, let's get it up here. And maybe one of our esteemed listeners here will tell us if we made that level in the British pound, which I think is around uh, 129. We should have gone through 129 like it didn't even exist because uh, 
Did anybody, can someone tell me if the British pound is trading above that 129.20 level? I'm not able to, uh, I better get into the uh, into the chat room. Where is that chat room here? Ah, it's not important. If it is, it is. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, you know you know what? I could probably pull it up, but then I'm going to screw up my charts, and I don't want to do that. That makes it more difficult for me to get the information out to you, and that's what uh, I don't want to uh, worry about too much. The big one here, folks, is the fact that I wanted to show you what happened to bonds this week. Uh, you'll get this up here because uh, we had a uh, early rally early in the week. Uh, and you'll notice here that it came in uh, exactly, well, it missed it by about four pips. Right there was the 382 right here. And from then, we broke from this level here all the way down in here to the 119 level. So that's what we we're facing when we look at some of these things. It, uh, it gets pretty hairy as you watch these things uh, unfold here because uh, now – You've you've went way beyond anything. You're almost at the old lows, which are 117. Okay, and that's where we are today, folks. I hate to make a big case about what Bill Ackman said, but you see, I I try to think about why he would say something like that. I know people like to talk about their positions. I, I that's the one thing you just don't want to do. Uh, when I play poker, people ask me, what are you doing? I say, I'm really doing nothing. I'm retired. Because the more you tell something, they want to know more about it and why and who and Bitcoin, all that stuff. I never never gave any advice of Bitcoin. A, one reason, I didn't know what the heck it was. Uh, John did, but I didn't. He, he, he told me what he was buying, but that was none of their business. So I keep, you know, I don't say anything about that because if you start talking about it, then you have you have to defend why you're doing it, and you don't want to be able to do that. You want to be flexible enough to get out of Dodge. You know, I live about 60 miles from Tombstone, 1885. Remember that when they had the big uh, gunfight at the OK Corral back in 1885, folks? Tucson was not Tucson, but Tombstone was bigger than Tucson. It was also bigger than Los Angeles. They had 30,000 miners there mining the silver. Four years later, the mines were done, and so was Tombstone. Now it's a, a little uh, recreation area for country and western stuff. It's a great place to go to see what it was like in the West because every day they recreate the gunfight at the OK Corral, and it's uh, it's really – they have horseback riding. And it's, it's really – quite a lot of fun here in the West. And, uh, and of course, we are rhinestone cowboys here, as old Glenn Campbell uh, would say. Okay, one other one here that I need to bring to your attention. We don't talk about it too much, but it's been a rocket ship to the upside. Oh, please, 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 please. Where are you here? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Yep, you did it to me, so I can't do much with it. Son of a gun. All right, let's get back to where we were here. I want to bring this chart up. This is, for me, it's important. Okay, that's all I can tell you here. Let's get this up here because this is what's going on today. All right, get the chart up. Take a deep breath. We're almost, we're in this final stretch and down the stretch they come. Here you go, right here. This is the S&P. You can see the low back here in the, uh, early July. There was the pullback this week, yesterday, on Tuesday, we went right down to the 61% retracement of that low, 1.61 of that. That's led to a two-day rally, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, the area we were looking to sell was right here at uh, 1955 with a stop at 1965. And uh, we, if that's all we get and we close badly uh, or start down, you can see we could have another move to the downside. The tip-off on this was the uh, rally in the uh, NASDAQ. That was the one that was the most compelling because it was sitting right at those key numbers. And then we found out that uh, it was starting to move uh, a little bit lower. So this numbers, folks, that all it is, and I know it's a lot of fun when you look at them, but... That's pretty much pretty much what's going on here uh, today as we look at some of these things. I wanted to uh, I have to show you a trade that I wanted to do, but I didn't. Hold on one second. <laughs> Let's get this up here. Uh, I lose track of these charts, and it's driving me. Scoshi Bucatati, hold on just a minute here. Scoshi Bucatati is uh, uh, Thailand for you're going crazy. <laughs> 
Okay, let's move on. I learned that from Joe Napoli. Okay, now one second. There's what we got to get. There's what we want to get. I want to show you a couple of these charts that have made some pretty significant tops up in here. And one of them happens to be the one related to agriculture, none other than Caterpillar. Of course, they make uh, big rigs too, but you'll see here and all kinds of equipment. But we've made a double top up in here uh, in the Caterpillar. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. Hey, we got to take a pay a few bills here. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, someone asked me to put up an example of an interday chart with an ABCD. Uh, you can take a look here. There's one. It's, uh, I believe it is a... Uh, uh, it's an eight-minute chart on the uh, gold, and as you can see here, uh, excuse me, four-minute chart, you can see the ABCD pattern that just completed right here at 76, 1976. Now, if you bought that, you see you have a small profit in it right now, your stop would go to break even. Now you're in a risk-free situation, and that's what you try to do when we did this day trading thing uh, on uh, Monday. Yeah, let's try it. We did it on Wednesday, and uh, we did make some money, enough to cover the tuition, 
Just missed a couple of great ones, but that's the name of the game, folks. Anyway, this is what we're trying to do each day with daily charts, weekly charts. Seldom do we look at weeklies, but occasionally. I'll have to look at weeklies uh, uh, this weekend on some of these because they're very, very important from a foreign currency standpoint, especially with that U.S. dollar. Because the U.S. dollar had such a perfect ABCD and has just fell out of bed. And the, you can see the 150-pip move we've had in the uh, – uh, market for the uh, euro today so we happen to be long the euro today uh, we were long the euro short sure, gold and also we were uh, we went short the stock market at uh, 19 49.50 <laughs> and uh, that's what we were looking at there and we've got to stop and break even on that right now so that's what we're paying attention to uh, here today uh, we'll always have some good time here for sure but uh, let's do one other thing here before. But folks, do something nice for your neighbors if you can. You know, you really, really should try to do that. Uh, uh, you know, it, it just, just, it just, it'll make you a very, it'll make you a better person. It'll help them, and it'll also help you because the person that gives gives just as much as the person that receives if you give it in the right faith. And I think that's good. You don't have to give a lot. Maybe it's just your time. Maybe it's your advice. But. Let's see you on Monday with Mike Moore, Tuesday, Grace Morris. We'll see you on the flip side, boys and girls. Bye.